Hello YouTubers and plane lovers, Ian here with another unboxing and review of more aircrafts and this time I have a tremendous unboxing that I'm doing and uh, this is six different models that I purchased and uh, so because they're all 1 to 200 scale models they sent them to me in two different packages so we're opening the first package here and this all the, the heavy uh, models that I got so let's go ahead and take a look at this So the first package had included these two models here. The first one is the uh, Air Canada flaps down. Let me put this on the side. <clears throat> so our first air, airplane model, it's the uh, Air Canada, as I was saying. Uh, flaps down. Here's the model, Boeing 787-9 and by Gemini Jets 200. Then we have the GPS model here. It's a point seven six seven dash three hundred. Here's our second package. This our second box, and of course, it's a little bit bigger. There's uh, more models in here, so we're gonna go ahead and open the box and we're going to discover what all airplanes models we have in this one here so Here's our first model that we are taking out of this box here. Let me take out all this stuff. So here's our first model. This is an American Airlines or American Eagle. And I actually have two models from this same exact uh, airplane. And these are ERJ-170 by American Airlines. So I got two of those, and then I have an, a, a U.S. Airways Express Dash Eight, and I think this is by J.C. Wings, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the back of the box has a lot of stuff, a lot of information about the aircraft, length and width, and all that good stuff. Next. Next is another Gemini Jets. This uh, Calita Charters. Uh, and this is a Boeing. Uh, this is a Boeing 727-200 in Gemini Jets. And next we have another Gemini Jets and this is a Interjet uh, and this is uh, a Mexican airline and it's an Airbus A321neo. 
Here again by Gemini Jets. And here's another Gemini Jets 200. And this is uh, an American Airlines, uh, an Airbus A320. And uh, this is a very nice model. Uh, I've been waiting for a while to get this, so I finally got it. And here's our next uh, model and this is another flaps down Gemini Jets and this is Alaska Airlines uh, This is a Boeing 737-700 <clears throat> And this flaps down as I said Gemini Jets So let's go ahead and start and we're going to open the first one and this is going to be our US Airways Express uh, dash eight. So here's our stand and it's made out of metal. It's got all the information about the aircraft on there. And here's our model here. This is really, really nice. I really like this model. I think this is my first Dash 8. rolls real smooth yep he rolls real nicely yeah the wheels are made out of rubber so it makes it a lot easier for it to roll and since it's not too heavy it's perfect So this is a JC Wings model and it's got a registration number November 326 Echo November. Let's come forward in front of the aircraft model. It says US Airways Express. It's a really, really nice and really, really detailed airplane model. JC Wings did a really good job with this. Look at those propellers. I mean, they are really nice. Let's go ahead and try to spin them. They do spin real, real smooth. Oh, look at this one. Very nice. JC Wings did a very good job with this model. Let me show you again. I like the way this one spins. <coughs> and look at the top of the plane. Look at the top of the wings. All those details. The antennas. Very, very realistic Let's take a look at the belly of the airplane. Also all the details. Landing gear looks very detailed. I love this airplane. The back of the tail, the stabilizers, 
everything on this airplane. I mean, it's really, really nice. Next, we're going to review our American Eagle. And since we got two of the same, of course, I'm just gonna open one and let you guys see it. <clears throat> Here again, this is an American Airlines or American Eagle, ERJ 170. And I really like these boxes by Gemini Jets. I think they're uh, they're my favorite, I guess. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this out. And of course, we got these stands that I dislike very, very much because they're very fragile and uh, they don't they're not strong enough to put models on on them to display. So let's go ahead and take the model I always try to use these plastics that come with the model which you know they're protective equipment but uh, I've tried to use gloves and the model fell off my hand so I just use my bare hands here this model rolls real easy now let's try to put it on this stand that I dislike very much can't even put it on the stand let's try it one more time here let me show you guys so you guys can see like it's a little bit hard to put it on there so I won't even try this time I'm just gonna set it on the side Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Let's look at the turbines. They do spin real easy. I wish, I don't know if you can see, but uh, they do spin. Look at that cockpit. I'm trying to get this to focus so you can see the uh, windshield wipers. You can see the landing gear, front landing gear, the belly of the plane. Very, very detailed aircraft. I really, really enjoy those engines. The back of those engines are amazing. Very detailed model. I really, really like and enjoy reviewing models that look this good. Not disappointed at all. And I'm so glad I got two of the exact same models. Look at the logo on the winglet of the airplane. As you're on the wind on the window seat and you can look outside, look at the winglet and you can see that logo. It's really, really cool. American Eagle. You can see the, the antennas, the cruising lights, landing lights. Very, very detailed aircraft. And of course we have a registration number of November 760 Mike Cubic. You have your American Eagle logo, your American flag. Next, we have this Alaska uh, Gemini Jets as well, and this is a flaps down. So we're going to go ahead and get it out. And here we have it, another stand. I wondered, uh, I wonder if they even try to use these stands or quality control or they just really don't care but anyway let's look for what is important wow this model is so amazing whoop 
there goes a there goes a tail so let's let me try to put it on here it's horizontal stabilizer uh, yeah I don't think I'm going to need any glue so it's it just kind of snap on there so here's our landing gear you have to install it um, sometimes Gemini Jets has it installed or sometimes it's just you have to do it on your own and we got to remember this it flaps down as you can see this is a very very nice very realistic Alaska Airlines and this is a cargo jet so let me go ahead and try to put it on the stand just gotta be careful when you put these things on here because it could be real tight so this one worked so here's how it looks on the stand on display it just needs to have the uh, landing gear installed on there so it looks more realistic but I mean Gemini Jets did a very good job with this aircraft as well I uh, really like the flaps down configuration on, on these aircrafts it's just something different air cargo Alaska look at the cockpit 627 right above it and then you have the windshield wipers as well i mean look at that nose cone very detailed airplane very nice very realistic this uh my fourth uh boeing 737s alaska and so And you have a registration number of November 6 to 7 Alpha Sierra. The antennas, look at the top of the wings, winglets. Very nice. So let's go ahead and go to our next aircraft model. That we're going to do a review on today for this today's video. It's going to be a little bit longer than... The usual videos because this is my first uh, unboxing of uh, various uh, airplane models so our next aircraft is going to be our take it out and as you can see this is a uh, American Airlines Airbus 3 a320 and the landing gear on this aircraft it's already installed um, So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This one's a little bit hard to roll, but I think it's because of the landing gear. It's probably too tight on there. Um, but it's a nice aircraft it's a nice model as you can see it's got the antennas on it it's got uh, look at those winglets at this airplane details they like I said the antenna the nose cone it's a very detail very nice the cockpit now the uh, the wings on this one they do have all the markings um, 
I see some airplanes that don't have them, but I don't understand why only some of them and some of them won't have it. But it's still a very nice detail airplane, cruising lights. This winglet on this side though, it looks unfinished. So that looks like an error. That thing shouldn't be there. It looks like they didn't sand it right. If you can see, that's, that's not cool. And then of course you have a registration number, November 103 US, the back of the airplane, stabilizers. Vertical and horizontal. Yeah, the tail on this airplane it's very nice, very realistic, very detailed. The only thing that I've seen so far that I'm not too comfortable or happy with it's the winglets. Look at the bottom of the plane, the back of the engines. I mean, the engines are very detailed. Landing gear is very detailed as well. The belly of the plane it's nice looking very detailed as well front landing gear very detailed And next we have another Gemini Jets 200 and this is another Airbus. This is an Airbus A321 Neo. This is by the Mexican airline Interjet. So let's go ahead and open. There's another stand that I dislike. I know I'm not the only one. Wow, look at this aircraft, very detailed. Rolls nice and easy. It's got the landing gear installed on it already. It rolls pretty smooth. Smoother than the previous American Airlines A320. A registration number for this is X-Ray Alpha Mike Alpha Papa with the Mexican flag on it. Look at the top of the wings, the engines. I mean, nice detail. The front of the cockpit, windshield wipers, antennas. The winglets. Look at the engines, the inside of the engines. That front landing gear looks a little bit crooked. Let's see if these spin. They do spin. Let's check the other one out. This one also spins as well. Very nice, very detailed. Airplane model. Interjet. Very detail. Look at that landing gear.
Let's take a look at the belly of the airplane. Landing gear. Look at those details. Very nice, very cool. Gemini Jets 200. Look at the back of the engines. Landing gear. Sweet. Let's go ahead and do our next uh, model. Another ugly stand, surprise, surprise. Gotta be careful when you pull these out of the boxes because stuff may fall off if you're not careful. It looks like everything is on this airplane as well. Nothing is detached. Front landing gear, it's a little crooked. This is a very nice airplane. It's a Boeing 727. The roll on this airplane is a little bit more rough, but I think it's also because this is heavier than the previous airplanes. But I, re I really like this airplane. Look at the back of the engines. I mean, it's very nice. Top the belly of the plane, you can see the landing gear, all those antennas under there. Stabilizer, the, the back of the engines. So. Our next model here, it's our UPS aircraft cargo airplane. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And we have a metal stand. It's plain, no information on it. It's just metal. And this is another airplane that's damaged. Looks like they put the landing gear on there, but it came off. So I'll have to either glue it back on there or... Yeah, because it doesn't have that magnet like other uh, models do. So let me go ahead and put it on the stand for now. So yeah. And also the engine looks weird. 
let me find more parts of the airplane in here so you can see this is part of the main landing gear it looks like it fell off it came off should be something like this on there yeah, I'll definitely need some glue so I can put it back on together Here's the part of the engine also fell off but this one looks easier to put on there let me just try to put it on there I don't think we need crazy glue for this or any type of glue yep it just fit into that hole right there it's got some particles of paint chips or something on top of it so I mean landing gear that is crooked Besides that, it was in parts. This airplane looks pretty good. This model here, you can see the landing lights right by the front nose gear. Worldwide services. We also have your registration number here, November 322 Uniform Papa. Yeah, the tail on it looks a little bit weird. But I mean, other than that, I mean, this aircraft is very nice, very realistic, besides the point that. You had some parts that were off. A very nice model. Very nice model. Our next model that we have here is uh, our last but not least Boeing 787-9 uh, Air Canada and this is a flap stand configuration model so let's get it out of the box here we have a metal stand Gotta be careful when you remove it out of the box here. Wow, what's up with these models today? It's just falling apart on me. That's not nice. The good thing about this tail is that you can just snap it on there. Here's the landing gear. So you can install it. You can either do the uh, 
the doors on the the, the the landing and compartment doors if you wish to display it like that or if you wish to install the landing gear on it and this is a lot easier to install because this is the one that has magnet on on it so uh, you can just snap it on the model and you're done the engine spins so that's nice it's nice to see It's a very nice detail airplane, very nice Air Canada Dreamliner as you can see on there on the side and this is a flap down configuration as well so look at the back of it it's very detailed very nice it's a pretty good size airplane Here's a registration number. This is a Charlie Fostrot uh, Yankee November Delta. Flap sound configuration. Just trying to see. They move, they do not move, and do not try to move them because they'll fall apart. Look at the cockpit. This aircraft is amazing. This model. The details look at that cockpit real nice the antennas on top they said that that's for Wi-Fi but I'm not a hundred percent sure the top of the wings so very nice detail Dreamliner 787-9 the belly of the plane very nice very realistic nose cone here's the belly of the airplane very nice very realistic look at the back of those engines the bottom of the engines very nice well, you guys, there you guys have it. Comment, subscribe, ask any questions you may have. Until next time, and if you haven't done it yet, please follow me on TikTok at Robin Plains as well. And until next time.